Hi, this is Steve Garland, head wrestling coach at the University of Virginia, giving you an update, a video update on what Virginia wrestling has been up to. It's been a long time since I've done one of these videos. <clears throat> I apologize for that. It's been a very busy off season for us, and so uh, I wanted to make sure that I caught everybody up to speed on what the athletes are doing, and what what the staff has been doing, and, and, and where this program is headed. And um, I, I just thought it'd be a really good opportunity for me to take press the pause button today and do that because I feel like a lot of people are wondering what's going on, and so I wanted to get everybody caught up to speed. First and foremost, since the NCAA tournament ended. We've um, really dug in with our program in terms of a development standpoint, training standpoint in our wrestling room. Uh, I, I mentioned that last video. We, by NCAA rule, are allowed to have 144 uh, work days, practice days, and so we were able to build in some of those at the end of, um, uh, of the season. So we got right back into to work and, and developing our team in, in the four walls of that wrestling facility and, and beyond. But then on top of that, we were able to, we now have a, a certified regional training center through USA Wrestling, and so that enables us to also practice freestyle and, and be very focused and intentional in our training and development there and, and, and getting in preparation for our freestyle off-season competitions, and that has been phenomenal. So we had guys competing at first Las Vegas, the, the UWW FILA Junior Nationals, which is we had Fox Baldwin, Sam Crevis, Cam Harrell, and Tyler Love. Uh, all the young guys went out because it's it's a it's an age group qualifier for an age group world championship. So that was that was really big for our program to get those guys competing. And then we followed that up with the University National Club Duels, a first ever tournament of its time up in D.C. And we got to get our team together and competing in freestyle against teams uh, from all over the country, all the other colleges that were there. So that was an incredible not just team building experience, but also straight up competition experience. Then we just recently, just as of um, this past weekend, we're at the University National Championships in Akron, which we've been going to for years. Uh, uh, so that's no surprise to anybody, but we were able to bring nine guys, and, and hopefully next year we double that in terms of the number of guys we're bringing out there. And here's why that's important. Obviously, anytime you compete, that's an opportunity to get better. The way to get better at wrestling, in our opinion, is, is, to, is to wrestle. Uh, it's, it's one of those things, and... and, and we want to, one of the pillars of our program is compete in such a way. Well, it's kind of hard to mimic that in any other fashion than competing. And so our guys got to get out there, get, get tons of matches in, um, and wrestle against some of the best wrestlers in the nation. And so there's nothing, there's nothing but positive that comes out of that. On top of that, what that does is it also focuses your training, focuses the first pillar of our program. It helps them lay out a path and stay on that path working forward towards the goal of being a university national champion. So the focus in our room has been fantastic in recent weeks, and so I've seen a jump in the, in the development uh, from a physical standpoint, from a technical standpoint in our team, and I just think that's incredible. Um, and then also it, it's just great to have everybody together again, continuing to build and strengthen relationships within our program. So it's a win-win on all fronts. So we've been extremely busy with that. Coach Gavin has been running all, all our practices in, the, in that realm, as he always does. And so that's been great. Uh, also, I want to reference uh, Coach Shelton Mack, our volunteer coach. Shelton Mack has, has started his competitive career, and he just uh, really represented the University, of, well, the Cavalier Wrestling Club and the University of Virginia extremely well at the University National Championships and then also at the University Club Duels. He's just been uh, such a bright light in our wrestling room for our guys and such an example for our guys, and so that's been incredible. So I want to make sure I give him a shout-out as well. So that's what our staff, <clears throat> Coach Lean, has been um, also working diligently all over the country with camps and clinics and everything else going on. So we're, we're, we're running hot and, and, and we're working really hard. And so that's a staff standpoint and the student athlete standpoint. The other thing we've been doing, or I've been doing, the last few months and, and is, is development and educating our, our friends and our alumni and, and also uh, requesting their help and through the Virginia Athletics Foundation and, and beyond. And, and here's what I mean by that. I got to go down to the National uh, College, the, the National Hall of Fame for college football, the NCAA College Football Hall of Fame down in Atlanta. And I got to be a part of a VAF function um, with uh, Bronco Mendenhall and, and some other coaches and, and, and just meet some great people and get down there and speak about what the VAF actually is and what it does and why it's important. Well, the VAF, for people that don't know, the Virginia Athletics Foundation, essentially is the fundraising arm of our athletic department. They raise the money for our operational support, for our academic support for athletes, 
and uh, and the scholarship support. So the scholarship is the lifeblood of our program, right? So the, the, they raise all the money that goes into paying our guys and financing our guys' educations and giving them that scholarships so that they enjoy year in and year out. That comes from that organization, so it's huge. And so anytime I get a chance to get up there and speak on their behalf and, and talk about what they what they the impact they've made in our in and through our program and the impact they've made on my wrestlers, I jump at that opportunity. And every time I get to go down there and do something like that. I mean, it's been 10 years of speaking at those different events. I, I always marvel at, A, the type of response and passion people have for Virginia athletics, but then also, you know, B, how much they still need to know about, about what the needs are for, these, for our program, for our athletic department. So I just want to take that, again, pr take, press the pause button here and encourage everybody to continue to support the Virginia Athletics Foundation and everything that they're doing because it, it's critical to, to <clears throat> the future success of not just our program but every program in the athletic department. Along those lines, another huge, huge uh, undertaking and, and, and sort of next big task for our program is continuing to build and sustain a successful regional training center through the Cavalier Wrestling Club here uh, at the University of Virginia. All the, all the most successful wrestling programs in the country ha have these models, Ohio State, Cornell, uh, all, uh, the list goes on and on, Penn State and, and, and on and on and on, especially in conference and teams that are doing it. And so... You know, that's, that's, that's been a big focus moving forward for us as well. And so I wanted to encourage everybody to just really think about how they can support us in, 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 in achieving a successful regional training center model that way. And, and, and one of the ways you can do that is coming to our, uh, the, the Cavalier Wrestling Club golf outing that supports the Cavalier Wrestling Club at the base level and then, and then obviously beyond. And so that, that's going to be Saturday, August 20th, I believe. It's going to be at the Old Trail Golf Course, same place we've, the Cavalier Wrestling Club's always hosted that golf on. I want to encourage everybody to come out there and be there for that and, and, help, and help us build uh, you know, in that fundraising capacity as well. So, uh, so, that, so where do we go now from here? Uh, the summer now gets even crazier because we kick it up with camps. So uh, Coach Lean runs our, uh, the Virginia Wrestling Camps here on grounds and beyond. So... Uh, please also support that. You know, if you want to get the word out to help Coach Lean with the wrestling camps here, and we want to continue to bring in the best possible kids we can get for those camps, and continue to help Coach Lean in that area. So that's what we'll be doing there. Then the home visits start. We go on a we go on a big run in July, like every other coach in the country is doing. We'll be hitting the roads hard, doing our home visits then, and then we finish up there. We got Fargo. We've got tournaments we're going to. We've got the National Wrestling Coaches Convention. I'll basically black out and blink, and it'll be August when we're hitting the golf outing and then going right into school, August 22nd or whatever, when school starts. So it'll be here before you know it. Thank you guys for all your help and support, and just continue to uh, continue to, 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 to help us in every way you can to, to, to get to the next level with our program and go Hoos.